Hello, welcome back to Pets Wife Society. My name is Brill, and today I really want to talk about why women must be coy and choosy. Being coy and choosy will help you to develop two key skills, well, gifts, I, I want to say. That's highly important to identifying generosity in men. You must become very observant and intuitive. Now, the first thing that you must do is you have to actually make sure you're paying attention and being very observant with every interaction that you have with a man. This will help you to identify if he's going to be gener generous going forward. Now, this topic came up in my Activate Queen Conscious workshop last night. If you haven't gotten that workshop, you might want to go get it. I'm going to have it linked down below. There was so much information given and so many gems dropped. If you want a very generous man, you, it's not the questions that you must ask that's going to actually be the game changer. The game changer is what you see, what you observe, and what you feel. And these are things that a lot of women dismiss for the questions. Social media have you believe in that you didn't ask the right questions. And that's the reason why he wasn't very generous or why he wasn't very masculine or why he didn't want to go forward with dating you. And that is not the reason. The reason really is it's you're missing in what you're supposed to be looking for. And a lot of us miss the signs, miss the signals and identifying generosity in men. I'm going to give you two important questions that you need to ask yourself in every setting that you interact with a masculine man. And this is going to be the identifier, the signal. This is going to be the way that you be able to tell if he's going to be generous every single time. What setting did you meet him in and did he respond to the setting? So every time you have an interaction with him, ask yourself these two questions and then observe these things in that situation. You're not supposed to ask him the questions. You're not supposed to uh, try to make him respond to the settings properly. Just follow it step by step in the manner that I'm going to give you. And this way you'll be able to identify if he's generous every single time. Now, let's say for instance that you met him in the grocery store. Okay, so you met him in the grocery store. He is supposed to respond to that setting. So if he's in a grocery store and he's supposed to, uh, he's presenting himself to be a masculine energy man, a man that wants to impress you, is he responding to the setting? Is he opening a door for you? Is he carrying your groceries? Is he in protective mode in the grocery store? Is he paying for the groceries? What is he doing to respond to the setting? So every time you interact with a man, you ask yourself these two questions. And you observe if he is rising to each challenge. It's the things that you see that you notice that he's going to be generous. And this is in my personal experience. Anytime I've dated a man and I've noticed that he's responding to the setting appropriately. Let's say I meet him at a ball game. Okay, if I meet him at a ball game and he's trying to impress me and he wants my number, is he going to get me a drink? Is he making sure that he's somewhat protective of me in this crowded space? Is he um, offering to make my uh, make me more comfortable in this setting? Maybe he's offering to give me his seat so that I can sit on the outside. Uh, is he giving me his jacket because I'm cold? Pay attention to all the things that is that he's giving you in this setting. Is he responding to the setting? Because if he is not responding appropriately in the setting that you met him now. What makes you think that he's going to respond to the setting later on? Because he won't. If the only thing he is doing is coming up to you, giving you a little bit of chit chat, a little bit of conversation. And this means you're not being choosy. You're not being coy. You're not being observant and you're not being intuitive. And you get you exchange numbers. You're not doing the vetting. See, the vetting starts at the very beginning. As soon as you meet a man, you're supposed to start immediately abetting him, observing him, uh, checking to see how you feel around him. And let's go into being intuitive because a lot of women ignore their feelings and their intuition 
for their logical mind, their logical, the reasoning, the mental realm. And this is the biggest mistake you can make because I've met men in the past and they checked off each and every box. They were everything on paper that a masculine provider should be. But when I was around him, it's like I was being pushed and pulled away from him and not towards him. And not paying attention to that could have got me in some serious ish. I talk about that in my Activate Queen's Consciousness. Why is it important that women not only observe and pay attention to the setting and how he's uh, approaching you and how he's trying to impress you and how he's trying to have a conversation with you and how he's respecting you in that moment. And this will let you know going forward if he's going to be generous. And this is not a one time thing, too. A lot of women will stop paying attention to the signs and the signals after they've had one good date or one good meeting with the man. And the thing is, this is a going, this is an ongoing thing that you have to do going forward, and especially until you decide to commit. And this is the reason why we need to bring back more choosy and coy women. Bring them back to the forefront because choosy and coy will make sure that you be able to get those men that are very masculine and in his uh, and providers and men who are meant to have their genetic legacy go into the future. We need to bring back more choosy, coy women who are going to actually observe a man in the setting that they meet them. Even if a man meets you in the club, what is he giving you in that club and in that moment? Is he giving you, you should take my number because I am that, I'm a baddie? Is he giving you that? Then maybe he's not going to be generous going forward. Is he giving you, uh, I want to impress you. I want to protect you while we're in this crowded space. I want to talk to you. I want to respect you. What is he giving you? Ladies, do not dismiss what you observe. Because what you observe, what you dismiss now is what you will leave him for later. Thank you, ladies, for, for being here and staying to the end. I appreciate you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.